And the first thing we're going to start with, it is not my creation. This is a classic, classic recipe, and it is the Gold Star Chili Dip. So, of course, we've already started with some cream cheese in the bottom of our pan. So I'm going to cover the cream cheese with my Gold Star Chili and just kind of spread it out. Now, we are going to do it all up completely this evening with some onions and some jalapenos. Well, I want to show you a couple of things that's going to make this dip even easier for you. Whenever we teach a class, we talk about the fact that round food is dangerous food. So this onion's rolling around a little bit. It's more apt to make me cut myself than if I find a flat spot for it. So the first thing when you're going to break down your onion is to cut off the root, excuse me, the stem end. And look, now I've got a flat spot and this is going nowhere. And then to chop the onion easily, I'm going to cut it right through the root and leave that root there because it kind of holds it all together for me as I cut it up. Again, I want to be not round and dangerous. I want to be flat and safe. So I flip the onion over and just cut along the lines that naturally occur in it up to but not through the root. And we'll just dice this up and put it on our, on our dip. Now, when it starts to get a little bit small and tippy again, here's what I do. I find a bigger flat spot. So I tip it over, and my onion is now much more stable. And I can keep tipping until I'm almost down to nothing. And if you want to make it a little bit smaller, you can just run your knife right through it. So we'll go ahead and put that all over our gorgeous dip. And then on goes the cheese. And then we'll garnish it with some tomato and some pepper. But we'll pop this in the oven and have it ready for you in no time flat. So I mentioned that the dip is going in the oven. We're going to garnish it with a little bit of tomato and a little bit of jalapeno peppers. If you don't want to put these on yours, no problem. Leave them off. You are going to be looking for some color and some garnish, though. So maybe you'd replace it with parsley. Um, maybe you'd want to do a milder chili or a canned green chili. But I do want to show you, if you're cutting chilies at home and your fingers are sensitive, you know the seeds and the membranes hold all of the heat. So you do want to avoid those generally. And a way that you can get around it, what did we say? Is it round food or flat food that's safe? You guys are so good. Okay, so I need to make this flat, but I also don't want to touch the seeds. So I'm going to cut off just the very tip end of this. Now I've got a flat spot, and I've got a nice little handle to hold on to. And I'm just going to cut straight down on the side of the pepper. And I'm hopefully going to leave most of the seeds, like, hanging from a little cage in the center. So we're just going to kind of line these up. And you'll notice I keep my knife tip down. We'll cut them into strips. And again, if you don't want this spiciness on the one you make at home, no problem. Leave it off. And then we'll just mince this up. Beautiful. Here, let me garnish it for you right now, Grover. If you have a minute. Yes, I do. I'm going to go a little easy on this in case some of you all don't like it too spicy. We've got the hot sauce that you can use, though. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. So here is our, our Gold Star Cincinnati Chili Dip. Yum! Yum.